Hey guys, and welcome to Rufus and Doofus. Chico here, and it's the 4th of July, so happy 4th of July to everybody out there. And I hope you enjoy your holiday and have a safe one. Uh, today I just come over to the RV, finishing up a small project that I started. And what it is is I'm putting LED lights in the entranceway of the RV. Uh, there was a small courtesy light which was powered by a switch on the dashboard and uh, what I wanted was something that was a little bit more bright and actually um, short, showed the outline of the stairs coming in so it makes it a little safer. Real easy job. Let me show you the job as it is now done and I'll show you how I went about making the light strip and uh, where I acquired the parts. So here's a quick little look at it. And uh, right now it's off, but I will show it to you on also. Uh, unfortunately, it's not dark out, so you can't really see how bright it is. But maybe when it's dark one of these nights, I'll remember and take a shot. So here it is. Okay, there are the two strips that I put in. You see this one right here? And one up there that I'm pointing at. And um, they're red LEDs. I chose those for this job. And also because I had some left over. The original little light was down here, and it was really kind of worthless. So I removed that and used the power from the wires that were there to power these. And I just ran the wire behind the stairs, so your, your, your application may be very different. So you're just going to have to figure out how you want to run the lights. And then I ran it behind the carpet and down to there. So very simple. Now let me show you what they look like when they're on. Okay, guys, well, I came over here during the uh, uh, dusk hours just to show you how the courtesy lights look going into the RV. Um, there is one that was standard on the coach underneath, and it's barely, barely visible. Um, but I guess if it was darker, you'd see it a little better. But those are the ones that I replaced, uh, or I should say installed, rather than the one that was down here in this corner and i think it's kind of nice it lights up that stairway nicely um, i don't think it's excessively bright and uh, again i can turn it off from the dash so i'm really happy with it okay guys i'm gonna try and show you here what you need to do uh, an led strip this is uh, a strip i ordered online uh, it came in a package of 10 and they're each one half meter long and there's end caps on them that slip off as you can see they just slip right off okay and this little translucent piece of plastic slides in the channel so that's one thing that you're going to need if you want to make the light strip so i'll leave that there and that will accommodate an led light it's about that big this is a single color LED light and it's uh, red now this little movie film spool here from the old days was full but I've used uh, a lot of it up so uh, just to show you what you need to do is you need to obviously get this apart and then you take the LED strip light right here uh, as you can see um, it, it's like on a copper backing now if you look real close at the end here you're going to see a plus and a minus sign and that is where you make your connections uh, accordingly and also every so every three on this strip you can cut the strip you just can't cut it randomly but every three, you will notice a spot where you can cut. So there's one here and one there, okay? Now, if I wanted to make a light strip here, what I need to do is I would need to measure this out, right out like that, put that end up there and right here. And you'll notice that these, these uh, metal strips uh, are just the right length, at least these were so that you can cut it and it will fit right inside that length. Okay, so I am going to do that right now. I'm gonna cut it right where I told you. That indication is there. 
and I'm going to cut it as carefully as, carefully as I can right on that line. It's very hard to film like this, but I'm doing my best. So that's cut. Okay. And then what we're going to do is lay it right inside this strip. And the way I'm going to do that is to separate the little backing that's on it and there's also there's already an adhesive on there that will adhere this right on to the strip. Okay, so as you can see there, I've, I've separated that, that adhesive which is on there from the time of manufacturing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this into the track with this piece all the way to the end. Okay, so I've got it started. I just pressed down in that piece, but notice I didn't peel at all. I'm going to peel it a little bit at a time, and as I go along, I'm going to press that into this metal channel. So that's basically it. If you want to make the channel, you're going to need the channel, and then you're going to put your LED strip light in there. Once that's accomplished, you're going to solder the, the uh, wire or the plug or whatever you feel comfortable using onto here. Then you're going to slide your cover back on. You're going to slide your cover back on like that. Put your end caps back on. Just like so. And that's it. Okay, and if I had soldered that, there'd be a wire hanging out right here. Now, one thing you have to remember is that the wire is going to be coming straight out here. So, uh, without modifying it, it's going to show a little bit on there. You can modify these a very little bit, but you have to be very careful. So that is a light strip. Now, let me show you uh, one that I've already made up, and I'll plug it in so you can see it. So we plug it in and there we have it. There's our LED strip ready to go that we can mount uh, on the wall if we like. Uh, very nice effect that tones it down a little bit and you can't see the strip. So that's it folks. Just wanted to show you the setup. Uh, LED light strip and you can use these in a lot of places. You can use different strips for different effects. Uh, just be aware that the ones that do multiple red, green, and blue colors that change have four wires. A little bit more complicated to put together. Uh, and you also need a little controller to control the light. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me know. And don't forget to subscribe. Take care, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.